Today's art lesson will focus on perspective. In art, perspective means drawing something the way it looks to you, not the way it actually is. A lot of times, artists use perspective to make their art look more real. In this picture, the trees get smaller as they get further away. Do you think the trees at the back of the picture are actually small baby trees and the ones in the front are giant trees? They're not. This artist just made the trees in the background smaller so that they would appear to be further away. That's how artists can use perspective to make their art look more real. It's the same way in this photograph. The trees closer up look bigger and the ones further away look smaller. Today we'll be painting trees on our moonlit backgrounds. Before you start painting your trees, make sure that your grass is colored in nice and solid and that you're happy with your moon. The next step is to draw some Y's with paint. We're using tempera paints and before you can use those, you have to get them wet. Notice how in my painting, the Y's that are at the front of the painting are very large. The further away the Y's get, the smaller they get. By making the trees in the background smaller, my painting's going to look more real. When you make your painting today, make sure to use proper perspective. Another thing I'm doing to try to make my trees look real is I'm making the trunks of the tree get larger as they go down towards the ground. The branches also go from large to small. The ones close to the tree are larger and the further they get away from the trunk, the skinnier they get. Let's check out some of our GoPro Picassos and see how they're painting their trees. I like how both girls started with a Y and then remember to go back and make their tree trunks thicker. Your trees won't look real if they're super skinny the whole way up. I think it's cool how they both added tree roots to the bottom of their tree trunks. And their use of perspective is really great. The trees in the back are smaller and the tree up front is really big compared to those further away trees. Great work, girls. Now let's check out some other kids in this third grade class. I think it's really cool how nobody's trees look the same. It's the same way in nature. Trees look different. Your trees don't have to look realistic though. Do whatever you'd like to make your trees original. Now we've got our last two GoPro Picassos here to finish out our video. We saved the best for last. These boys are doing such an awesome job on their projects. Just enjoying this. This is like the best thing I've ever done in my life. I've always wanted to do this so hard. We're enjoying ourselves right now. You should have some small trees in the background and some larger trees in the foreground. I really like how they have lots of trees that are lots of different sizes. This makes their art interesting. They put their smaller trees further away and made their big trees up close. 
This shows that they understand perspective. When you're finished with your painting, you're going to bring it to the drying rack. Try to put two paintings on each rack, just like these kids. Then you'll need to put away all your materials and clean your table.